no YouTube. So I brought my camera, but I left my SD card. So the phone has to cut it. I believe I'm already going into labor. It's April 13, 3.29 a.m. We left my house around, I'll say 15 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago. I'm getting contractions every four minutes. They're not completely horrible yet, but I believe my water broke or something already because I had a liquid coming out when I had my first pain in my bed. Besides when she was just born. There's my bag and baby's bag. Hi, Caleb. How's your first hours going? He just had, um, he was just breastfed. He's been doing really good. Just like a champ. He latches gray. He does about 15 minutes each. So, living his best life. So it's time to change his first diaper. It's already 124 and he did his first poop. It's time for his first bath right here. water Thank you. 
of how cute you look, Caleb. After giving birth, they, came, they took me in here. This bassinet where baby Caleb was sleeping. Obviously, my bed. Husband over there. And here they are. And this was our view. downtown Orlando. Hello guys. So we are here. It's April 14. Um, the time is actually 1.38 p.m. and we are about to be discharged. Um, I just wanted to hop in here and just give um, my birth vlog story before leaving the hospital. So on the 13th, which was um, Friday, so on April 13th, which was Saturday in the a.m., around 3 o'clock in the morning, I got my first contraction that woke me up right away. And at that moment, I just told my husband, we have to go because I knew already that labor was near and since I'm I'm known for giving you know birth really quick we decided just to go I had my bags already in the in the car and all of that so I just grabbed like iPad and a few things that I had outside and we left I took the camera with me but I forgot my SD card in the computer because I was gonna work on some videos and I told my husband hey can you go back so we can get the SD card like when we were leaving the house he's like uh no hello you, you give birth right away we can't do this and I'm glad he did that because um I did give birth quick to Mr. Caleb Grayson basically we left the house around 3 13 a.m and we got to the hospital I think within like 20 minutes because we were going that fast and I'm glad it was at the, around that time because if not, who knows what would have happened. If it was like traffic and all that stuff, I would not have made it. Probably would have gave birth in the car. So we got to the um, to get, we got to the hotel, right? We got to the um, hospital around 3.36 or something like that. And guys, um, by 3.51 a.m., Caleb was born. So I got my first contraction at 3 o'clock in the morning and he was born at 3.51. So as you guys see, it's no joke. I do give birth right away, uh, which is a blessing in itself because obviously you don't get that much pain. But at the same time, sometimes you don't know if you can give birth in the car, on the ambulance or something like that. So that's the only scary part. Um, but everything came out good. As you guys can see, he's my little angel right here. He is doing so good. He passed all his tests, hearing tests, and all that good stuff. He was born uh, 7 pounds, 14 ounces, 20 inches. And we are very happy to have him. 
So now I'm just about to head home. Look at this beauty right here. He's waiting to be discharged just like mommy so we can go home. And he's about to meet his sister, his big sister. see his big sister reaction and she sees her little brother in here. Oh no he wants to get out <laughs> and that is grandpa meeting baby Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> 